Hi Genius Friends, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to fill out your Reach for the Stars Readathon order form. So this is the paper that you received uh, when you first signed up your, in your packet. So what you'll note here is on the back there is some information here about your sponsorship. Um, I just made notes so that you can see and I, so I filled one of these out as if I were filling it out for my son and I used a nice round even number and showed that he collected $50 in pledges. Now you'll remember um, that your group gets 50% of the money from Reach for the Stars and each individual child gets the other 50%. So in our hypothetical example here, my son Max would get $25 to spend in books and $25 would go to Genius. Now you'll see here, please make uh, checks payable to, and I wrote in cash, please. So if you need, absolutely must give me a check, you can please make it out to Kim Carpenter and in the memo line write Esborn. But cash will just expedite the ordering process and the shipping of books so much um, more quickly so that we don't have to wait for checks to cash. So I very much ask you to please provide cash if possible. So then on this um, inside piece of uh, paper here in the pamphlet, there's the order form. So what you can do is take 50% of the, the money that you raised and you can use that to choose any books that you like from the catalog. So here in our example, I knew that my son had about $25 to spend. So what I did was I chose two books for him. These are actually books that he owns and loves. How Things Work, $15 and $8 for paper airplanes. So then I added that up and I get a total. Of course, your total is probably going to be different. Now at that point, you'll need to add tax. You only need to add tax on the amount that you're actually spending on books. In California, there's no tax exemption on books, even for schools and other organizations. So in case you need a refresher course to find, and that's okay, to find tax, you would take the total amount that you're spending on books times 0.08%. So whatever your um, total would be, multiply that by 0 0.08, and that's going to give you the amount that you need to pay in taxes. So in this case, I owe $1.84 in tax, and this is kind of messy, but you can see if I add that up, it comes to $24.82. Now if you remember, um, let's see here, you will receive books of your choice with 50% of the money you collect in this case, and your school or organization receives the remaining 50%. So I am just under what my child's allotted um, book money would be. What if I went over a little bit? Then I could take out of my pocket and pay a dollar or two or five dollars or whatever. So you need to give Genius 15% or 50%, but you can pay the difference if you go over. What if you're a bit under? I would um, suggest to you that you use as much of your allotment as you can, and then if you're a little under a dollar or two under, just donate that to the group would be my advice. Now, you need to write down your order form so that you um, give me the information about what you would like to order, but if you would like to keep this, you can write it on a separate piece of paper. So some people wanted to keep this um, reading log. If you want to, just write this information down somewhere else for me. Then, in your packet, you receive this envelope you will see that some very important information here to write down for me are the number of minutes that your child read. Um, we're going to give out prizes for the top readers, so make sure that you note that for me, please. Again, I'm asking that you pay in cash as much as possible, and your uh, pledges are due on April 20th. You can bring them to co-op. So, I collected $50 in cash. You can stick your order form and your money inside this envelope and hand it in. All right, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, you can call me 805-403-0384 or you can um, email me at readtothekids at gmail.com. Once you turn these in, we'll have our ceremony on April 27th where we give out awards. And then books will come in about three weeks, um, maybe a little bit less, after the order is processed, and I will contact everyone for delivery. All right, thank you so much.